Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor. Um, and if you're not subscribed, you know, go ahead and hit that red button below so you can keep up with all the projects that I'm doing. Happy Sunday, well it's Sunday for me, but happy whatever day of the week it is for you. Um, and then, yeah, today's project is actually this edged vinyl on this uh, mirror. I this thing is actually kind of heavy, like, it's got some, some weight to it. Um, so it comes with a chain and then a screw. I feel like I see why now that they added <laughs> that gold screw in there because that nail doesn't, it doesn't look the nicest, but I mean, it's still nice. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Mm. I'm good. How you? Okay, um, <laughs> all right, let's do it. As far as the etched vinyl, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna use the light pink. I did get a pack of um, different colors. So there's clear and then there's also a blue one and then this pink one. I'm gonna do it in pink. I think it'll just look nice on the gold and then I like pink. So yeah, first I'm curious what cut setting this is gonna cut on to. I am sending it in for a test cut so we can see if it cuts well on a three. So if you have a silhouette, um, cut setting three works just fine on this uh, etched vinyl. What brand is this actually? Craftables, I guess, yeah. <laughs> the brand of the edge vinyl is Craftables right here. After your machine is done cutting out the design, then you go ahead and cut away the excess vinyl and start to weed out your design so you can get it ready to peel and stick to your Mirror. A little bit. You can see a little bit of the sparkle. I think that's so cute. As always, I prep whatever surface I'm about to um, apply any vinyl onto. I usually just use some alcohol. And just ah, 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 ah. Some smear that all over, go back, dry it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, so now our surface is prepared. And now I'm gonna actually put the transfer tape over it so we can get ready to apply it. Um, I did get this big thing of transfer tape. It's 12 inches by 50 feet. I think it was around, I wanna say 14 bucks maybe. I know I ended up paying, um, yeah. It's either 14 or 16 bucks. One of those. I paid uh, like maybe two or three dollars extra because I really wanted it overnighted um, by today so I could finish this video. I always put my design over the transfer tape just to see exactly how much transfer tape I need to cut out. Just like it. And then I take my little squeegee tool. Yeah, things did not go as planned with my little Amazon transfer tape. Apparently it wasn't strong enough to pick up the etched vinyl. So I actually took, I had some extra Cricut Strong Grip vinyl that I went back and used on it and that was able to pick up the etched vinyl.
I can't zoom in anymore. But I think that is so stinking cute. Take it out. Take it out, baby. Better days coming, home. Better days are coming. Though I really like my new design, um, I decided to add the original art piece I had in that place back to it. Um, and I just used a command strip for the art piece that I added back in place. So that's why I'm just pressing on it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, make sure you keep up with everything that I'm up to. Bye guys.